Well, today I got another package from Amazon. I believe it's the speakers. Got some new speakers to fill in. Oh, sure enough. It's the um, YL1698B. But 600 watts, speaker four way, six inch. Now, I believe on the description it was supposed to be five and a half inch. But it should fit in my doors. Just got these old ones. Oh, right here, I'm gonna replace them. I'm gonna replace those speakers today. Gonna open her up and uh, see what we got inside. Just go through a little stats here while I got the box in front of us. It's a um, four-way speaker, uh, max music power, 600 watt, um, normal power, 40 watt, woofer, and. Um, mid-range 40 millimeter whatever that is tweeter 11 millimeter dome um, frequency response 30 hertz to 36 hertz uh, gross weight is uh, 8 ounces or 1.60 kilogram Got wires on top connect to the speakers it's just the push on type that's what the old speakers have so and then the speakers themselves package nice nice and secure separate covers Cha ching it's gonna look pretty sharp so I'll get them in place and hopefully it's gonna work because the ones now, they make a little bit of noise, a little bit of sound, but very poor. So I'm hoping it's just bad speakers, not something else. I think I need a Robinson screwdriver. It's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about nine screws around holding it. I'm going to eventually replace these panels, but you know, do a little bit each day, each other day, and uh, eventually you get her done. Oh, they got them soldered on. They got them just, look at this. Whoever did this has them just through the holes and bent over, not even soldered. So yeah, I got to do a little better than that for sure. This is an old uh, model 600B, whatever that is. Centrec. It's like 4 amp max, 25 watt. It's a lot smaller than the other one. Made in Taiwan. But she's an oldie. And I'm sure she pumped out the tunes in her day. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, so I got the wires bared a little more on this end here and I'm going to wire them together well, make a good connection, very good connection.
Then I got some heat shrink, heat shrink um, tubing. It's a little big for this wire, but I'll uh, shrink it with my little torch here, my little lighter. That'll work. Same with the other one. And just to make sure we got a good seal in there. If I can get this open. We have um, electric, liquid electrical tape. Very good stuff. Basically just liquid rubber. And uh, put it on any electrical connections. Let that dry a bit while I do the other side. Okay, I'll just get them plugged in. I'm going to test it before I actually put them into the door. Slides right on like no one's business. Oh, I know I notice now, but you see, you got a smaller terminal. Oh, positive and negative. See, I'm learning something new. Now, I have no idea of knowing which is positive and negative going to the sound system. I don't think it matters other than maybe you get a better sound. But try one way. If not, we go the other way. But you see, we've got a smaller uh, female and a bigger one. So it's dummy proof on this end. But as far as which wire is which, I have no way of knowing unless I take the whole dash apart. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. Okie dokie. Working. Okay, it does come with these little clips. You can put them in behind your door, behind the hole there. And line it up properly and then you can put the screw through an end to the back here but each door is going to be a little different depending on your vehicle uh, for me I don't need it because they've got plywood backing here so I'm gonna put four screws and then uh, cover goes on in place and they do supply you with some uh, nice black screws so then you put your four black screws in to finish it off nice so basically eight screws, that's not going anywhere. Okay, we got them in. Let's try it with them in the door. I believe it's gonna sound uh, quite better. Better acoustics. Oh yeah. Perfecto! Perfecto! Also, just a little update. I got everything going on the van now. Dash lights, got the fan. I put in a new fan motor. So we got AC, charge up the AC. I put in a toggle switch. Chunk chunk for the horn. Should pass specs, eh? Oh, if anyone has any cassette players, you know those little uh, tapes? I could use them in here. It's an old player. But any tapes, fairly rock and roll. Oh, actually, anything country. Anything's good. Yeah, so we got that all in. I put a new pull cable. The other one was sheared. I don't know if I remember, but it was sheared off. Pull cable. It wasn't the exact right length. But I just uh, adjusted it. Put her in. And it's good. New battery. Hooked all the wires together. Fuses. In place, I got a new uh, pump for the water for the windshield wash. It was burnt right out. It's actually falling apart, but I managed to find another one on Amazon. 
charge the AC. A horn, I just wired in a horn because the old ones are still in there, but I don't know which wire is not working or what working, so I just wired it to the toggle switch. And there's the new fan motor in there, working like a dream. So the next big step in my adventure or my dream, I'm going to start looking for land. So I'll take the dream machine, doing some longer trips, maybe back to Alberta, and look for some land. Because I still want to try doing the off-grid thing for a while. I'm not, I don't like to commit to things too, at too much uh, ahead of time. But I think I'm going to really like it. And if I do, well, that's great. But that'll be a lot of uh, a lot of hard work, but a lot of interesting stuff too. Also, constantly learning. But tonight I got to work a night shift, more security work. But it all adds to the coffers. More money, get some land, get a little more freedom. Dream the dream. What else can a guy do, right?